Okay, numeric response number two. We're going to find the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over x minus 1 quarter. Now you can see in the numerator here if you make x equal to 4, 1 quarter minus 1 quarter, so it goes to 0. And in the denominator, 4 minus 4 goes to 0, so this is, is definitely leading us to the indeterminate form. But you should check that first. Okay, don't, don't just assume that that's going to be what's going to happen here because you might end up doing a lot more work than you need to. But in this case, that is what's going on. So this implies to me that we got to do a little bit of work here. And, and typically in a question like this, the work that we got to do here is specifically combine the numerator there. So I can see that this is going to equal the limit as x approaches 4. And yes, I do expect you to write that over and over again. Okay, the minute you stop writing the limit as x approaches 4, you're telling me that you've already taken the limit. So until you've taken the limit, keep writing that. Uh, the common denominator up in my numerator here, okay, I'm going to leave the denominator like this, is going to be 4x, which means the numerator here is going to become x minus, sorry, x minus 4, I'm writing it correctly, I'm saying it wrong, 4 minus x. Okay, so that is equal to, now look at this, just think about what this is saying up here, I've got a complex fraction here. Uh, fraction divided by x minus one, uh, 4 over 1. I can write it like this, which means I'm going to get the limit as x approaches 4. 4 minus x over 4x. And when you're dividing by a fraction, you're multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, that, that may have been obvious to you. For some of you, that may not have been a very important step. But I know that for others, that that is an important step. And then look at this. Oh, this is so tantalizingly close. 4 minus x and then down here in the denominator, x minus 4. Okay, everything's identical except the, the signs are different. So what I would do here is factor out, uh, factor out a negative out of here, and this will get us the limit as x approaches 4. Notice I still write that. Negative 1, x minus 4 over 4x times 1 over x minus 4. And now, now I can say, ah, look at that those two terms are the same. Now, they don't exactly cancel out here. There's one spot where they don't cancel out. They will not cancel out when x is equal to 4, but that's okay because I'm, I'm taking the limit as x approaches 4, so we never actually do reach 4. So this is going to reduce down to negative 1 over 4x, and the limit in that case is going to look like negative 1 over, well, put the 4 down there. So 4 times 4 gets, my, gets me 16 here. So, uh, what I got to do here now, and I'm actually not entirely prepared for this. I didn't realize this was going to happen here. Um, so I just got to divide that. I got to go to my calculator for this. And to the nearest hundredth, well, okay, this is equal to negative 0.0625. So to the nearest hundredth, that's going to be negative 0.06.